I'm what you call apolitical. That's like being neutered, right? <laughs> You're about to witness something that you won't be able to unsee if you stay to watch the rest. It's a sitcom called What's a Girl to Do? And in this episode, they're tackling the thorny issue of politics and voting as the creator and star Janet Porter tries to convince her new boyfriend to vote for Trump. Hilarious! Not. Don't tell me you're a Trump fan. I like the guy. Well, I don't like what he said about... Watch what he's done. Actions are what matter. He's pro-life. Well, that's great, but that's just a single issue. A single issue? Yes. <laughs> right, the right to life is a priority issue. Pro-life and anti-abortion rhetoric? It's comedy gold. It's a prerequisite issue. It's what makes every other right possible. You know, what good is the best education or free health care if you're dead? Mm, she has a point. Well, don't you think he brags a bit too much? I never noticed. He's got a lot to brag about. I'm sure there's some jokes here somewhere. Look, I stay out of politics, all right? I don't even think I'm registered to vote. To stay out of politics is to let the Marxists control your life, your health, our country. How can you date a guy that doesn't even vote? <sighs> look, look, look. Tr what a zinger. How can you date a guy who doesn't vote? I can see that on a T-shirt. But hang on, we're one step away from... How can you date a guy who doesn't own a gun? Trump is for liberty. He's for Israel. He's for the Second Amendment. Mm, they want to take your guns. I don't have any guns. Mm, how can you date a guy who doesn't even own a gun? Well, as much as I'm enjoying this lovely little conversation, I'm going to go. How can you date a guy that doesn't even want to make America great? I don't know. Click here for Elon's rage against the machine.